NVMe RAID Zero Azorus Aurorus, however you want to pronounce it, Ultra Z390. I was having this issue where one wouldn't show up, or I've got three in, there's two that are showing, at least in there, but if I went for Easy Raid, not enough drives, or it would allow me, but was only selecting two. And then I figured it out where, so if I go in here, it'll show all this with all these, which we don't really need to be able to or want to have to try and go through and find out which ones are the ones that are connected with the going through all that, that'd be relentless. Anyways, for the SATA, 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 whatever, mode selection, um, instead of it being set to this already, change it to the AHCI, leave it like that for now, load optimize default, and then restart. And then jump back into BIOS. This hasn't got any install on it at the moment. This is why I've been trying to get it to do the raid. But if I go over here, it still has that same issue. But if I go back over and into the SATA RSGs, or RSTs, it automatically goes back to that because of the optimized loadout defaults. But see how I've only got one, two, three. The one that's showing an A is currently this one. Now, if you want to do RAID for the NVMEs on this motherboard, you need to set them all to the RST control. And then save and exit. The issue I was having before was only two were set to the RST and the other one was separate, which is why I couldn't get all three to do what I wanted it to do. So it took me a little while to actually get that fire into it and figure it out. But now if I go over here, it'll show up RST controlled for all those on those ports, which are the corresponding ports if you actually wanted to go through and select them. These are the ones for this particular motherboard. Don't know if they change per motherboard, even if they're under the same denomination. I'm not 100% sure on that. But if I go into plugin devices info, now none of them show up. But if I go back over to Easy Raid, all three of them are up here in the corner. And I can now do my raid setup. Hope this helps with whatever raid setup you're trying to do on whether it be Aurorus or maybe it'd be another motherboard that's just not wanting to work with it. Hopefully this helps you in some sort of way.